Next, we can enter templates for this alignment. This will define the cross-sectional view of the tunnel. So we'll select templates and then select add. We'll give the template a name. We'll call it template one. If you had existing templates, you could copy from them. This will save you a lot of time when creating multiple templates. And we'll accept and add that. Now we'll create the surface for that template. We'll select add. We'll give the surface a name, call it surface one. We could also copy surfaces if we had existing ones, and then we'll enter. Now we'll click new to add elements to the surface. First, we'll start with the point. We'll enter a horizontal offset of negative 1.2, which would be to the left, and a vertical offset of negative 0.5, which will be down. and then click store. And you'll see that point created on the screen from the start of the alignment and to where that element is. And now we'll add another point. We'll click new and this time for the element we're going to choose an arc and there's several methods for defining the arc. In this case we're going to select endpoint and radius. So we'll enter the horizontal offset of 1.2 and a vertical offset of negative 0.5 and then a radi radius of 1.4. We'll also select the large arc option and you'll see that that calculates the values for that circle automatically below and then click store. Now we have our tunnel surface defined. When we're happy with it we can press accept and accept again and accept the template creation and our template has been created.